how close we are um, to fusion energy it is, um, in a certain sense, reflected by this ex big experiment, ITER. If ITER is successful, um, it will have made a scientific demonstration of fusion energy. But that'll be a long way from putting electricity on the grid, um, because in order to do that, we need to engineer the magnetic bottles so that they can run day in, day out, round the clock, and generate electricity. And so there's all sorts of engineering that has to be done. And then, there's, then there are questions of economics. Is it going to be economically attractive to do this? So, so I think that I'm rather confident, um, although somewhat disappointed in the fact, that um, fusion energy will not be in the grid, on the grid in my lifetime. But I, I do think it's a, a very valuable and important long-term aspiration and something that I'm happy to have spent a career on.